Hey guys, Crafty here from Living in Beta and today we have a bumper bumper video for you all. As you may know there's a number of vehicles uh, in Cyberpunk that you can purchase, uh, 26 to be uh, exact, and all of them are linked to various street cred levels, map locations, sometimes storyline based things. Um, and if we're all honest, <laughs> we're probably not going to spend the time buying all the vehicles. I mean, look at some of these vehicles. Um, but don't worry though. I'm here. I'm going to do just that. I'm here to help. Um, in this video, we're going to purchase all 26 of these vehicles that you see in front of you right now. We'll let you know the cost, street cred level requirement. Uh, we'll throw in top speed as well for those who want to go fast. Uh, and then we'll give you a little visual uh, on the exterior and the interior of every vehicle, apart from bikes, of course, which you can see the interior and exterior right now. Um, now, I'll be lying if uh, I didn't mention that, uh, you know, at the start, I probably wasn't going to do this uh, on my own personal account. Um, but I am hunting all the achievements. So, and the achievement in the game right now called Auto Jock uh, is an achievement you get after purchasing all 26 vehicles. So that's why we're doing it. So maybe it's worth doing it yourself, uh, worth checking out if you're hunting all those cyberpunk achievements. You're going to need uh, approximately 1.73 million eddies to do this, um, which is a hell of a lot of eddies, but there is a multitude of ways of getting eddies. Uh, three or four videos on my channel itself to help you get enough cheddar to buy these vehicles. Now, um, uh, I'll also be adding one more vehicle at the end. Um, it's not actually needed for the achievement, um, but it is purchasable on my character as a vehicle to purchase um, due to how I approached a certain quest. So at the very end, that will be there. Um, it is going to have spoilers, etc. So it's up to whoever you watch that. Um, it's also available to get for free. But again, at the end of the vehicle, uh, vehicle end of video, I will tell you how to do that. Now, in the interest of time, um, I will put a list of all the vehicles in the uh, description with the timestamps of where to get them. Um, there won't be me speaking over, telling you about the vehicle or anything like that. The information will all be displayed in that location. I know some people probably want to purchase a vehicle, but are not sure whether it's worth. Uh, I'm not sure if the interior is good. You know, what if the speed's actually worth it? So all that information will be there, quick and dirty for you. No problem at all. Just head into the description for the, set, the you know the specific vehicle you're looking for. You can also skip forward as well. I'm going to do it in per, uh, purchase price order. So we'll start cheapest first for those uh, skint people out there uh, who are still struggling to get some eddies. And then work our way up to the end of the video, which will have the most premium purchasable vehicles. Now, anyway, that's enough of me talking. Uh, shout out to Kelly for letting me use the, using his estate, pumping all the vehicles in his garden, etc. Um, but yeah, let's let the spending commence.
Okay guys, so to finish up, I did mention at the start of the video that there was a 27th car in this list that is purchasable on my character, that's currently in the ground, uh, purchasable on my character, um, which is named the Type 66 Cthulhu, which is obviously another variant of the Quandra Type 66 vehicle class, which we've got a lot of in this list actually. Now this vehicle becomes available um, after taking part in the uh, Beast in Me questline, which has you doing street races with Claire, uh, who's the barmaid in the afterlife. Now it comes to the head in the final race, where you actually come up against someone who's driving this vehicle. Um, and it's a gentleman that Claire believes has something to do, or had something to do with her husband's death. Now... Um, I won't go into too much detail, but in short, if you decide in the final race that you either want the guy killed or you just want to finish the race and win it, um, then this vague vehicle will become purchasable just like now um, from our best friend Regina. Um, but there is also a way that if you actually follow, um, follow the guy as Claire wants you to and then persuade her not to kill him, he will then give, get in contact with you and give you this vehicle for free as a gift to say thank you so you know obviously I recommend the vehicle for free as always the guy though as you get to know him isn't the greatest guy um, and maybe Claire will put on your heartstrings so think about that or maybe you're just a, you know a winner and you want to win the race so maybe you just want to do that anyway and you'd rather spend the 70 plus ed 70 plus K eddies to get the vehicle the vehicle itself though very very nice as you can see uh, interior wise very similar and typical to the Quandra Type 66 vehicles as you can see but yeah a nice cheeky one 27th vehicle uh, you don't you don't need to have this vehicle here to get the achievement achievement as you've seen already pops up without that so yeah something to think about okay guys so that's it that's all 26 purchasable vehicles plus one bonus vehicle for your eyes only I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you got all the way to the end, thank you very much. Um, it was great, great making the video and seeing all the vehicles that Cyberpunk offer. I do hope in the future that they add more in and maybe give us the ability to customize the vehicles, which would be great. But anyway, yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Like it if you like the video, share with your friends, subscribe for more content, and remember, don't be a gonk.